of this. This is going to be nice and thick. Uh, let's see. That was a little too sloppy. Kind of wanted to paint it in a little bit finer than that. That was a little, that was a little too sloppy. Okay, not thrilled, not thrilled with how I did that. Not thrilled. All right, let's try actually working in the mirror, not the phone, and doing this one. Now I gotta be even tighter because I don't want to cover my work. See, all right, I'm just gonna do right in there. Right in there and even tighter. Yeah. I'm really not efficient today. I'm really not. Let's see. Okay, so you can see this is like a little too red. This is like Kool-Aid for me. So that's okay though. That's step one. I do a lot of steps as you are going to learn <laughs> if you haven't already. This is more realistic looking blood. So this is going to go in next. Uh, I would say if you're black and white, the blood I just used can be nice. The Meron Sage blood, it's nice and thick. That's what I like about it, but I'm not really thrilled with the tone. It's like too neon for me. This stuff, type O, awesome. It looks real. It's thick. It's coagulated. We're going to have to add i think i'm gonna add some blood splatter around here that that's just this just is not looking it's not looking good all right now we gotta have this so you know i'm not gonna show you all these but i'm gonna paint this in now the coagulated blood is not gonna be even i'm just gonna like dab it in at different spots see that but you don't want to cover your work because you know i did such a nice job at creating really nice slices so i don't want to cover the slice with the blood say i want to that slice to stick out okay all right now let's go in and we're gonna add some blood spatter some splatter I'm gonna splatter some stuff just around here because this is like looking too perfect for me still looking a little bit too perfect with the blood it's looking too red we need some coagulated blood that's gonna be the trick don't need very much of this so let's go in yeah. See that? Already that's adding some dimension. I add the coagulated blood. You know, where there would be coagulated blood, but probably more internal. And it adds uh, some nice low lights. <laughs> like we have this red being so crazy red as like the highlight. This is our low light to provide some dimension as we need darker and lighter colors now if this was a bigger wound which i might do later today i would probably put some cotton balls inside of here to make it look like it has more texture again we're going to do splatter over there but this one's looking pretty good because see that darker blood really makes it look a lot more authentic and of course you can have some blood splatter which i'm going to do on this side yeah we need some more coagulated blood here too See, it makes it look deeper. So because I'm so messy, I drew all over this and I messed this up. But I guess in real life that would make sense. Maybe I'll open this up a little bit. All right, that looks cool. That was open. Hanging skin. I think we're going to do a more hanging skin now. Look at that. My nose is opening up. Doesn't that look cool? Doesn't that look cool? All right, awesome. Oh, that's going to work. No. All right, this is where tests come in. Is this going to work? Don't know. Marilyn coagulated blood. It's like a Brillo pad without the suds in it. So I don't know about the coagulated, but I'm doing experiment, and that's how you invent things. You experiment. So I'm taking this. This is not really going to be the blood splatter because these are too long and stringy. But we're doing a test. You know what, this is actually giving me a little bit of like a Walking Dead type blood splatter. So it's very, very little. I mean, coagulated blood, all this is kind of expensive, so that's part of it. But also, yeah, I'm not going to do too much on the nose, but just a little. 
So you probably would have a little bit of splatter if you were in a fight or something, right? I would imagine. So maybe I'll just do a little bit more on here. Not loving the shape of this one, but we can do a little bit better. So there you have it. We use the Synwax by Marilyn. We use fix it a We use liquid latex. Um, some people would put makeup and they'd blend. If you want to be a perfectionist, blend my makeup into this. But again, this is a test, so I'm not going to do that detail. And I like that I did this purposely here because I like the shape of my nose here. I don't want to cover it. So you can use this to cover it. Now I have like a little bit of a, a lot of bit of a jowl starting. So I figured I'd cover my jowl with this. And then you can have a beauty look where you're accenting your beauty, your eyes, cheekbones, and you're covering up the things that you don't really care to see. That's one way to do scary makeup in a kind of beauty way.